Hey yo, why Guam Popcorns? My name is Diesel Weasel. That's Diesel Two L's. Weasel Two L's. Why Two L's? I have no idea. And we're here with a quick uh, Skyforge leveling guide for you guys. Uh, just here, just to show you guys if you haven't reached end game yet and you're trying to level up quicker, trying to get there a little bit faster. Uh, let me show you some st some stuff so you guys don't make the same mistakes I did. So you guys can <laughs> not be like me and have to do backtracking and all that stuff right now. So let's get right into it. So a quick overview uh, with your stats. Your You have your prestige. Your main stats will be your prestige and your might. That's what you want to focus on. Your prestige is basically your level, what everybody calls their level. And your might will be uh, like in most MMOs you have like gear score or item level. That will be, uh, that's going to be what your might is. So that your might can go up and your prestige can stay the same. But, uh, but they both go hand in hand. So the more you increase your might, the more your prestige goes up and you know, the more might you put on, the you'll increase your prestige level, so on and so forth. So your main stat you want to be increasing is your might. Everything else will be increasing with that. So just to start off, if you haven't reached endgame yet, what the first thing you want to do is like endgame considering you haven't hit your guard form, finished your tutorials. What you first thing you want to do is knock out your yellow big road, which is this thing here, your provinces. Knock this out. And by the time you finish the last one, which you should be doing before you get your God form mission, is uh, your Arrestel's farm. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, you want to knock, after you knock that out, you'll be around, I think, Prestige 45, somewhere around that area. Uh, but one big thing that I missed, what you want to be doing while you're doing a Yellow Brick Road. So as soon as you finish, um, as soon as you finish a certain province, like say I finished Linos. You're gonna you're gonna always see this there's bastion in each of them see there's a bastion here at the end bastion at the end bastion uh you're gonna wanna uh as soon as you're done you're gonna wanna select your bastion and make sure you get your bastion missions your bastions are these uh little things here that'll give you like certain uh bonuses when you're doing combat uh i'll go a little bit more into the bastions explaining what they are and what they do in another video but you're gonna want to knock these out. So as soon as you finish a province, uh, uh, immediately go to your bastions and hit receive quests. These bastions give you might. So as soon as you, uh, as soon as you uh, pass your first little uh, bastion here, you'll have to continuously do like you know random missions, kill certain types of enemies blah 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 finish this mission those um, <clears throat> every mission you do will give you a little bit of might so you want to knock those out as much believe me because i'm paying for them now and i could have did most of this while i was running through it and i did not know so don't make the same mistake i did so if you go to your quest list after you receive the quest you'll see see just from linos i got Aviston Tower, Nario Island, Oceanids, like these things. It's like, see, eliminate 20 of those enemies, uh, eliminate these type of people, uh, rescue five people, things like that you'll get. So you want to collect those, knock those out, just knock them out. So if you've hit end game, run through your bastions. That's the, that's what's going to be increasing your uh, might pretty much the easiest. It's Believe me, it's a grind, but that's what you want to be doing. Um... Uh, Secondly, something you probably figured out while playing is capital. You want to go in your capitals tab and you have your tower of knowledge here and your cathedral. These two things uh, increase your might as well. So if you're playing on Xbox, these are kind of the only things we have right now. So this is what we got to do. Go to your tower of knowledge, do research. You, the way you do research, you spend the knowledge of enemies. Those you get from drops by killing enemies, you'll you'll have a buttload of those by the time you come here. You'll, you'll already figure this out. Research, 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 research. Uh, and you want to do as much research, uh, do as much research, I can't speak, I swear. Do as much research as you can for the day. Uh, you'll hit, you have a certain limit you can do for the day, knock those out. And you can, um, oh, whoops. And you can go, as uh, same thing for Tower of Knowledge. Tower of Knowledge, you got uh, rituals. Rituals you do every day. Rituals give you more followers. The more followers you have, the more might you have. So right now, if you see, you'll see it says your followers to 2405. And that gives me 2405 might. So for every follower you have, this more might you get. 
So you want to knock as much rituals uh, out as you can. And these cost credits. Credits you gain same as much as you gain uh, knowledge of enemies. So you want to knock those out continuously every day. Max those out as much as you can. And you can replenish those. So see right now mine says replenish. You can replenish those. If you guys are, if you guys haven't hit end game yet and you're or haven't hit a thousand might, you're wondering what these are. I'll go into that in another video as well. But these are just like bonuses you have for combat, like seal of speed, gives you more speed, uh, better uh, five percent more damage for cryomancer, things like that. But that's after you reach a thousand might. So after you get, I mean, after you get a thousand followers, you'll be able to get these bonuses. Same thing goes for your tower of knowledge. After you reach a certain rank, which I believe maybe rank 10, I think, I'm not 100% sure, you'll start getting these things as well. And I'll go explaining that a little bit later. So after you've done your Tower of Knowledge, uh, Cathedral, uh, another thing that will increase your prestige will be your gear. Your gear is another thing, but that you want to uh, focus on your gear after you focused on everything else. So if you go to equipment, you'll have like different, you'll have different gear you can equip. And every time you equip a better piece of gear, your prestige will go up by a little bit, depending on how better that gear is compared to the gear you, you uh, currently have equipped. So like right now I have two uh, legendary web, two legendary um, jewelry. And with those that increase my might, uh, increase my prestige by a little bit. So that's that's another way to uh, jump your score up and you can also find followers which will add you more followers you find and more might you get so uh, while you're doing missions you'll run through uh, you'll come across those followers though you know those ones that are like oh my god everybody's dead I don't know what I'm gonna do those dudes rescue those it's, it's always search for those rescue those they'll give you a little bit of might but a little is better than nothing so you always want to uh, knock that out. And I think that's about it. Um, yeah, if you found any of this uh, helpful, you know, hit that like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see from Skyforge. Believe me, I'm loving this game. I'm going to be popping out videos on the reg. So hit me up. Let me know what you want to see. And um, yeah, so until next time. Don't forget, my name is Diesel Weasel. That's Diesel 2Ls, Weasel 2Ls, Y 2Ls. I have no idea. And have a great day. See you next time, guys. One hour later. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang.